Hi, I'm Ellen Kobler, and I'm here with Kriti Uden, Manager of Stormwater Management for Baltimore County's Department of Environmental Protection and Sustainability. Thanks for being out here today. Absolutely. So I know that there's a pond in my neighborhood, and it has something to do with stormwater, but I don't really know how it works or what it's for. Can you tell us? During a rain event, under pre-developed conditions, a stormwater runoff infiltrates into the ground uh, through vegetated areas. Um, this process is actually providing water quality and to some extent quantity management. Developed areas, on the other hand, have less vegetation and more impervious surfaces. So the water just kind of rushes off. Exactly. Okay. So this is why we need uh, ponds or stormwater management facilities to help mimic pre-developed conditions by providing water quality and controlling both volume and timing of the post-developed runoff. Okay, so why is that important? Well, as I mentioned before, um, developed areas generate an increased amount of runoff, uh, which, if unchecked, can lead to erosion and flooding. Impervious surfaces also accumulate uh, pollutants, which are deposited from multiple sources, uh, from the atmosphere, uh, from vehicles, or wind blown from adjacent areas. During a storm event, uh, these pollutants wash off quickly and are rapidly delivered to downstream waters. Without any stormwater management, uh, our streams, rivers, and any other water bodies will be adversely impacted. Okay, so I see a pond behind us with standing water. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? In this case, it's a good thing. We're currently at the reserve at Chapel Hill. Um, this is what we call a wet pond. So the permanent pool at the bottom of the facility, along with various plantings that you see here, is designed to provide water quality. Quantity management takes place uh, above the permanent pool. So your team is out here today to make sure everything's working properly? Absolutely. Okay. And what exactly do your inspectors look for? I think uh, our inspection section supervisor, Mike Doyle, uh, would probably best answer that. Hello, Ellen. Hello. All right. So tell us what's up here. Well, the most important aspect of the inspections is the principal spillway, which consists of a dewatering device, um, a control release structure that retains the storm water and releases it at a predetermined rate, uh, and the embankment, of course, through which the outfall pipe runs. What about the plants and the fencing and all? Trees can damage sensitive areas of the, of the facility and they need to be removed from the embankment from over the outfall barrel and from within 25 feet of the control release structure. An overgrowth of vines um, can uh, restrict the inspector's ability to access certain components, so they need to be removed. The other natural growth can be a, a benefit um, from a water quality perspective. Uh, it provides a pollutant reduction and uh, nutrient uptake. Okay. What other issues do your inspectors find? Well, corrosion uh, leading to pipe failure is a reoccurring issue. If the inspector can document the condition uh, just prior to or shortly after the pipe is breached, then there's a variety of relining uh, options to extend the life expectancy of the pipe. So how many stormwater facilities are there around the county and does the county maintain them all? Uh, there's almost 5,000 public and private facilities, and they're all inspected in the same uh, method. Uh, the difference comes in in, in um, maintenance responsibility. Our inspectors write um, correction letters to property owners, and it's their obligation to repair and maintain the private facilities. Conversely, with the um, public facilities, our county crews are tasked with, with repairs. Okay, that'd be interesting to see. Yeah, uh, actually there's a crew working in the area. We can take it out and take a look. Yeah. Check it out. Yeah, yeah. should we go see? Let's do it. Great. All right. So where are we now and what are we looking at? We're at a dry pond, one of our many dry ponds. Essentially, the water comes in here and over there, it gets retained for a short period of time, probably about 72 hours, and then it gets filtered out through the release structure. Um, 
Okay, so what exactly is the crew doing now? Well, they're weeding, mowing, and trimming tree limbs. The main thing is to keep trees away from the embankment and to uh, and around the release structure to keep to keep the structural integrity of both intact. Okay, so the takeaway of all this is that what might look like overgrowth and um, standing water is really just nature's method of filtering out pollutants. Exactly. Okay. Well, thank you for this behind the scenes look. Thank you. Thank you. And this has been a Watershed Moment from Clean Green Baltimore County. Follow us on Facebook at Clean Green Baltco for more ways you can help our local environment.